It has been 13 years since Windows Vista was made publicly available. From the beginning, it has had a tumultuous life, primarily being due to the buggy and unstable nature of its release. All of that has been repeated by myself and many others ad nauseum. Today, in a sequel to a video I made five years ago, I'll be looking at how well Vista can hold up today. Okay, so we'll just install this. Let's begin. For a list of hardware such as CPUs and GPUs that still support Vista, may I direct you to WinClient5270's post on MSFN's forum. If your hardware drivers don't install on Vista initially, then there is potentially a way around that. For example, my Wi-Fi inside my laptop doesn't install on Vista, but it does support it. It's just being told not to install. But don't worry, we can override this. Firstly, restart your system, pressing F8, and disable the driver's signature enforcement. Secondly, once completed, open up the INF file in Notepad and copy and paste this line. I'm changing the NT version from 5.1, which is XP, to 6.0, which is Vista. Save the changes and proceed to go to Device Manager. Once there, for you it will be under Unknown Devices or something. Right click the one that might say Unknown Wireless Adapter and select Update Driver Software and follow me here closely. Select your edited file and find the name and version of your hardware. Select it and install it. As for the software, may I direct you to another post made by WinClient5270 on all the programs that still support Vista out of the gate and programs that require a small edit of their INF file. Recently, there has been a kernel extension to Vista that has uh, been created that allows some programs to install that require certain functions that are not available in the original Vista kernel, but are now available in this edited one. To learn how to install this, go down to the description the link to this post by Win32. In conclusion, this kernel extension allows programs such as Chromium 72 to install. This gives me the ability to use Skype, Discord and Microsoft Office Online. In addition, the June 6th 2020 build of Steam is functional, so, so I can play my games. However, programs I use like 3ds Max 2018 have issues running on Vista it would seem, but I could always use an earlier version. And my video editor is missing some functions from a DLL that hasn't been edited yet. Keep in mind, this project is in its early stages, so more programs and eventually drivers will be usable in the hopefully not too distant future. So, is Windows Vista usable in 2020? I would say yes if you have the correct CPU and GPU, and if you are patient and computer savvy enough. If you need to use a program that doesn't support Vista currently, you can use it in a virtual machine or dual boot a later version of Windows. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.